Hello and welcome to Filmy Ladies. I am Beth, one of your co-hosts, and with me is our other co-host, Pitu. Hi. And today we are going to talk about something very simple, very straightforward, all opinions, all the time. This episode is tentatively called Hindi Film Things We Don't Like That Other People Do Like. I don't have a better title than that, but you know, what are some things that are generally popular that we do not agree with? This could be individual films, it could be types of films, it could be directors, performers, musicians, whatever. So Pitu, I know you have opinions, please lay one on me. Okay, so first of all, let me just say to our viewers and listeners that when Beth came up with this idea and she texted me, she was like, I have a really good idea for our podcast, like for a subject. And I was like, ooh, do tell. And then she tells me this. And I was like, okay, Beth, we want to increase our subscriber list. We don't want to decrease our list. Also, we want people to like follow us and like us. We don't want them to like hate on us. Um, so having said that, um, I think one of my pet peeves that I just don't like that other people seem to like is remakes. I don't Ooh, like remakes. Okay. Yeah, I just don't like remakes and I refuse to be objective about remakes. <laughs> so <laughs> like, okay, example. The, okay, this is an example of a movie that you like and we know Amrita likes and I just don't like. And it's because I can't be objective about remakes and it's Khub Surat. Oh yeah. So, yeah, so it's not that I think like Khub Surat as a movie is a bad movie or that Sonam Kapoor is bad in it or Fawad Khan is bad in it. He couldn't possibly be bad. It's not that. It's the fact that I love the original Khub Surat so much. And to me, it's kind of like the temerity of you to think you can fill Rekha's shoes. And I just kind of, you know, get fixated on that mm -hmm. and I can't. I can't move past it. So people will be like, okay, but like, don't compare it to the original. Try to watch this movie for itself. But I can't do it. Yeah. It's the same thing with, um, say, Umrao Jan. Um, I love the original Umrao Jan with Ray Kainet. And I actually really like Ashwara Rai. Like, I'm an Ashwara Rai fan. And I was like, no, I can't do it because you're making Ashwara Rai do a role that Rekha made so famous and it's mm -hmm. so iconic. And you're making Abhishek Bachchan do Farooq Sheikh's role like no that he is nowhere close to the man and the actor that Farooq Sheikh was like I will not so same thing with Hamdal Dej Saram. it's such a loved movie it's such a popular movie again I, I am an Ishwara Rai fan I love the music of that film mm -hmm. but I can't get past the fact that it's a remake of Wosad Din and Wosad Din to me is so endearing and adorable so I think the only remake I've ever really liked um, was Dave D because I don't like any of the original Devdasas. They're terrible. I don't like <laughs> I don't like the Dilip Kumar one. I don't even like the Shah Rukh Khan one. Um, so I just do. And I also think that Devdas is one of the most annoying literary and cinematic characters ever. And I just want to slap him and tell him to grow up air and stop being so whiny and annoying. Um, but Dave D and Abhay Deol's role in it and the direction, Dave D is the only remake that I like. So I am a remake hater. Are, when you say remake, are you talking about Hindi film to Hindi film remake? Are you talking about like Bengali film to Hindi film, American film to Hindi film? I think I, I think I'm talking about Hindi film to Hindi film mm -hmm. remake, but no, 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 I'm not. So for instance, there's this uh, movie Sairat, which is Marathi, and I think it's phenomenal. It's such a good movie. The music oh, yeah. is so good. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's so good. And then Karan Johar had to make Dharak. And it was like, why did you do this? Why do you, why do you do these things, Karan Johar? So, no, I think I just hate remakes in general because typically what happens is that they'll take something really good and then for some reason they'll take all the watered down parts of it and then they'll omit all the good parts in it. And then you're left with this like shadow of the original and it's just not good enough. So yeah, I just, I don't like remakes. What about you? Um, well, you've actually brought up one of mine because the thing on my list at the top of my list is friends don't let friends watch Devdas. <laughs> He's the worst. And I, I understand that a character can be unlikable and a story around them can be good. Blah, blah, blah. He's so awful. So unredeemable. So selfish. So unrelentingly just 
awful that <laughs> I actually don't think there's any way you can make a work around him that's good without commenting on that, which is why DevD yeah. is perfection, I would say. Yeah. And that's been done the one time. That's probably all it needs. Although honestly, like I think a stage play version of DevD would be really cool, but like yeah. we don't need to do, I mean, don't need to do it anymore. And I, I've seen not all of the dev DOSs because I think there's something like 13 of them. Why are there so many of them? He's so I don't know. Person. So what, tell me as an Indian, like what about this is so appealing culturally about this guy? Like he's awful. And you can ask me to try to explain some American thing that's awful. I'll try. But, you know, like he clearly resonates. Something about this resonates. In my opinion, it's the man child aspect. Like people love a man child. Yeah. Right. And that's not unique to India in any way. Yeah. Uh, and he is the man childest man child that ever did. So is he's it just that? a tantrum for. So here's the weird thing. Um, I think this is where it is a bit of a generation gap because I feel like Devdas as a story was much more popular in like previous generations. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I feel like it's the boomers and the ones who are older than them that like Devdas. Yeah. Because in more modern times, there's pretty much only the Shah Rukh Khan Devdas and then there's Dev D. So I think it's a generational thing. But there's a, there was one made not that long ago. It's not Hindi. There's, but there's one, there's one from oh. the two, 2010s. Like, stop. stop. Maybe <laughs> just, maybe it's just, an affinity for man children, because here's the thing. Okay, like this is where I was going with the generational comment where I, I was gonna say, I don't think my generation likes the tomfoolery that is Devdas and that entire ridiculous story. And we just like roll our eyes at it. But I do think that my generation, not me, but my generation does like the man children that Imtiaz Ali has made a career out of writing and directing. And honestly, so much of Ranbir Kapoor's filmography is playing that dude. Um, he, India Zali even got Shah Rukh Khan to play a man child in Jab Harry Met Sejal. So it's very much an India Zali thing. And I don't like his movies. I like Jab Bhi Met and Socha Natha, but that's about it. Um, so maybe it's this affinity for man children. I've met women who like all of these man children that India Zali's characters have in Rabbi Kupu Place, and they think he's lovely and adorable. And I'm looking at them like, no, he's not. And I know men who love those movies and who think it's wonderful. And I'm like, okay, that is a red flag. It's like, no, why are you saying all these nice things about these people? So it's just like, I don't know some weird, why do societies all around the world like man children? I don't get it, Beth. I don't know. Well, because men are usually in power and they love the idea of, of getting to be immature because it's easier for them. Mm. And then some woman has to like swoop in and save them. That sounds exhausting. Like we and if, they, to and if, if the woman is unsuccessful, they blame her, right? So. I mean, rock star. I think that's one of those Ugh. movies. I could right. not even People finish that it. movie. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, but don't hold back. <laughs> but Rockstar is one of those movies where people love Rockstar. I know, and I, I will say I like the music. I do like the music sure, Rockstar it's because hey, it's A.R. Rahman. Yeah. And I actually even like Ranbir Kapoor's performance yes. in it because he's a good actor. Having yes. said that, the movie is horrendous and his character is slappable and Nergis. It's just one of those awful India Zali movies. But the number of people I know that love Rockstar and that will defend it, and they're like, Rockstar is amazing, and you're wrong, Pitu, is like, I don't know, man. People love India Zali movies, and they, they love films like Rockstar, so. Yeah. Uh, I have the Wikipedia entry for DevDas adaptations pulled up, so just to go quickly. In 2013, there's a, Beng a Bangladeshi one. In 2017, okay. there's Devi, which is Beng Bengali, and is a modern day take with gender bent versions of the characters. I would wow. watch that. Yeah, I would do. Um, there's a web series called Dev DD, which is gender bent also. Um, that's okay. handy. It has Sanjay Suri in it, so, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and then in 2018, there's Das Dev, which is uh, a modern day one that's Hindi also. Wow, that people really that's what I like this story. It will not die. It will no. not die. I would literally rather watch Karan Arjun for the 100th, 100th time and sing along to Suraj Kapdurga Gagan than watch any version of Devdas. Like, I'm sorry. 
I, I, so I've seen, uh, I guess I've seen four of them or something like that, which is just a drop in the bucket. But I, what really broke me was there's a Bengali one from the, I'm going to say it's, yeah, it's from the seventies and my beloved, beloved Sumitra Chatterjee plays Dev Das. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, if anyone can save it, it's him. Oh no. Oh (laughs) no. First of all, he's too old in the, at the time they did the movie and Uttam Kumar is the, is the, what's his name? Churi Lal. And I was oh. like, oh no, this is, this is just as bad, if not worse than all the others. I, wasn't I, Suchitra Sain in it? And I think it was also Madhavi Mukherjee, right? I love Madhavi Mukherjee. Uh, no, no, it's not either of them actually, but oh. maybe are they, I'm getting, I'm, I'm also now thinking, is Suchitra Sain in one of them? Yeah, she's in the Dilip Kumar she- one. He's in the one where Vaijanti Mala is in it too. Yes. So Dilip Kumar, yes. Vaijanti Mala, and yes. Suchitra Sain. Okay. Yes. So, okay, I, I'm delighted that we agree about this because so many people love yeah. it. So many people are like, I recommend it to newbies. Why? Why would you do such a thing to an innocent person? Okay, to your point of why would you do that to an innocent person? I have to tell you this story. This happened to me three weeks ago and only you and my other filmy friends will understand because this is, I just have to share this with you. So for those who don't know, my real name is not Pitu because no like self-respecting Indian person will name their child Pitu. It's just my nickname. My actual name is Preeti, which is like very common in India. So anyway, um, when I'm introducing myself to people who don't know me or acquaintances or people at work or whatever, I always introduce myself by my real name, which is Preeti. So this random woman um, was like talking with me and um, she was an American girl, she was white. And then she's like, hi, my name is like Jennifer or whatever. And then she's like, what's your name? So I tell her Preeti and she was like, oh, that's like my favorite name ever. And if I have a daughter, cause she was engaged. So she goes, if I have a daughter, I'm going to name her Preeti. And I was like, that's interesting, but thanks, I guess. <laughs> and then I was like, but why is Preeti your favorite name? So she goes to my favorite movie of all time is Kabir Singh. My fiance is Indian and he introduced me to the movie and I love Kabir Singh and that's why I love Preeti. And I was like, oh, no. this was literally my face. I was like, um, oh, run, I'm girl, busy and I have to go. And so like, I just like ran away from her and she probably thought it was incredibly rude because she'd given me this like, extravagant compliment and I was like girl bye so I was just like this is an example of why would you do this to this nice sweet innocent person like why would you make her watch Kabir Singh and now she's in love with the character she's in love with the movie and she wants to name her unborn child Preeti and her fiance made her watch (laughs) it so like what's his problem I don't know because I didn't wait to find out math. I didn't want to talk to her. I didn't want to talk to her. No, to her. Run I, was away. Like, I was like, you are bad news people. Bye. I'm busy. And I laughed. <laughs> There's some, um, you know, in, in, uh, we haven't talked about this movie yet on the podcast. I don't think Mehuna, which I love. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when lucky goes avoid yar, <laughs> like oh, that, yeah. is an avoid, that is an avoid yar for sure. <laughs> <laughs> It really is. I mean, I think if I was like some sort of like social, like if I was like an anthropologist or something, like a Bollywood anthropologist, like you were talking about, I would actually have had that conversation with her and her fiance and being like, why? And yeah, like take notes and try to research it and like psychoanalyze them and really get deep and everything. But I don't have that kind of patience. I'm not made for that. I was just like, bye. So I avoided Yar. Avoid Yar. It's a verb, it's an <laughs> adjective, it's a state of mind, avoid yar. <laughs> yes. Are there any directors that you avoid yar? You know what? That should be the title of this podcast, avoid, avoid yar. yar. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> um, well, the directors, I, I mean, I'm not a Rohit Shetty gal. Um, I, didn't, I never I thought don't, you were. Like, I don't need him to stop forever or anything. Although the propaganda and everything, yeah, that, that really does need to stop forever. But in terms of like big explosion, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, it's not my jam, but that's fine. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to admit a thing and people might hate me. It's okay. <laughs> so we all know I'm not a Hindi speaker. I understand bits, but I'm not fluent. So whenever there's something that is really held up as like, this is poetry. I'm like, I take your word for it. I can't tell. (laughs) I don't get the big deal about Gulzar as a director, (gasps) as a director. I know I have not seen very many. 
Um, I'm not super well versed. No, Beth, no, you're I know, wrong. I know, <laughs> I know. And the film that I really, that really cinched it for me is uh, it does it. Oh, I hate that movie. Ooh, oh, I hate God, it so God. hard. <laughs> because that's a man, that's a man child and his stupid man dream girl. And yes. obviously the ending, spoiler alert here from a film that's 40 years old, is that marrying Shashi Kapoor is the best revenge. I'm I'm all for that. But I just, and maybe that's an example, right? Of you can make a good film around a bad, bad people. But for me, yeah. it just, I, maybe it's a maybe it's a translation issue. Maybe I'm just lost. I don't get the dialogue so that that doesn't come through. Obviously, the acting is not the problem. Those are all right people. But I just I loathe that movie. I've never rewatched it, so maybe I, my opinion would have changed. But the you know when I watched it kind of early in my Shashi Kapoor uh, voyage yeah. of discovery, I was like, oh god, what is this? Make it stop. But okay so please people can tell me in the comments what what are the gulzar films that i definitely need to watch to understand it i've seen Ooh, a few I can tell you. Said, but <laughs> please tell me i will send you a google doc <laughs> okay <laughs> is it all of them is that the answer <laughs> watch all of these 100 movies that <laughs> educate yourself i am sorry that i've said rohit shetty and gulzar in the same basic thought i know that that is not done. I apologize, but you know, we said the umbrella of directors. I'm trying to. I'll, I'll have to think if there's anyone else that I that I really dislike as a director. I don't. Think I don't so. like Suresh Bajatia. Oh well, yeah, that's fair. That's it's fair. so exhausting. His movies yeah. are so. Ex I get two takes when I watch his movie, and like because they're like diabetes inducing. Everyone in his movies is so fake. Oh, and our friend Nahit, who was on our episode for Majama, he loves Hamaf Kekon, by the way. Like I'm outing him as a Hamaf Kekon lover. That it's movie is unwatchable movie. to me. I can't. I only like the Pomeranian in it. I will sure. not hear a word against Tuffy. No, Tuffy, Tuffy is, is Tuffy is above all Tuffy. You know? Yes, Tuffy is he's the best. But um, all of his movies, they're so unwatchable. Have you watched Hamsa Sate? It is the worst. Yeah. Um, Viva. Oh, no, they're all horrible. They're all cringe inducing. But I must be some sort of like masochist because I've watched yeah. them all. <laughs> And then in that aforementioned uh, movie club that my cousin and her wife and I had, uh, one of the movies that my cousin suggested, and that led to the ultimate breakdown of our club, was Ik Veva SLB. I was like, I will not do this. I cannot. Um, so, I mean, all of the Bajate movies, but you know yeah. what? His movies make a lot of money, so I yeah. guess the joke's on us. But his movies are terrible. I don't like them, and they're very, like, annoying. Um, but I also wonder, too, like... It's so strange that I don't like Suresh Bajate's movies. And yet one of my favorite movies of all time is Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Gam. And I also really like Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. And if you think about it, they're really not that different from each other. I mean, in the sense that they're all like over the top and kind of ridiculous. And it's no one in any of Karan Johar movies or Suresh Bajate's movies if, is ever relatable. You never, I never look at a character and I think, okay, you are someone I want to be friends with. We're so similar. That yeah. just never happened. No. But I don't mind Keijo's movies. I think, I mean, I'm not going to be a particular Keijo defender, but as a personality or whatever, I think he's very, very smart. Oh, yeah. I think he has a lot to say. Um, mm -hmm. there are amazing, I don't watch a whole lot of interviews, but do you remember that website, the big Indian picture it was a super great yes. film web, you know, didn't last very long, but that was a wonderful project. And they interviewed him and he's talking about, you know, things he was trying to do and how he thinks they didn't work and whatever, you know? Okay. So I think he's really trying to do things, um, that are things I support someone trying to do, you know, like I'm sure. Right. Suraj is trying to do stuff too, but I'm like, I don't want anyone to do those things or I don't care. But I, I do think Keijo is someone with something to say and that he's pretty smart. Um, it doesn't always work, obviously. Um, yes. And also they are so beautiful. And like, I'm fine with that in a movie. Whereas, you know, Hamapake Hankon is not beautiful. <laughs> no. It is shriekingly hideous. So. That's a, that's a great one. Yeah, I, am, yes. I, am, yeah, I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm going to get that along with neutral at best. 
<laughs> batisms, all the good oh, batisms. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait, let me ask you this, because this is a movie that, you know how you said the thing about Gulzard? I was like, Beth, how dare you? I know. So every time I say this, people say to me, how dare you? And that movie is Jodha Akbar. Oh. I don't like it. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, um, people love it. <laughs> I, so what I remember is that I liked it quite a bit at the time because like we were talking about um, Punya and Salvan, like beautiful castles, yes. clothing, jewelry, fun, tense sword fighting. Like there's a lot of that, that goes a long way for me. I suspect it does not hold up very well for me. I suspect I would find it overly artificial in a way that I'm not into anymore. Um, and I, I was just listening to our friends at the Khandan podcast uh, this morning, and they were talking about how does it compare, to, uh, how do those two movies compare? Actually, Asim was asking, mm -hmm. so is it kind of like this? And I was thinking about like how much liveliness the, the more recent film has and how I do think there's a lot of artificiality and sort of stiltedness to Joda Akbar. And sometimes with court yeah. things that works because court life is regulated and whatever, they do have good chemistry. The sword, the sword uh, lesson is all very great, you know, but yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't need to see that anymore. It's just kind of vanilla and every, and it's weird. I was excited about it because I really like Hrithik Roshan. I really like Ishwara Rai. And I was like, wow, Hrithik and Ishwara are together playing a romantic couple and going to be dressed in all these gorgeous costumes in like this Rajasthani background, like it's going to be great. And they watched it and it was like one of the most vanilla things ever. And I was like, okay, this is very boring. I don't want to see this anymore. Um, but a lot of people really like Joe Dagbar. But that's the thing about Bhansali, like he either leaves me completely cold where I'm like, what are you doing? Or I just find his movies infuriating. There's never an in-between. <laughs> I just don't think he's very good. I mean, the only movie of his that I actually like is probably Kamoshi, which is really old. Um, the one with Manisha Koirala and um, Salman Khan. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I don't know if it mm. holds up, but that's kind of the only I one I feel like I've a lot read. of people hold that one up as the one that has you know, sort of endured. I, that, I think that's actually the only one I haven't seen. And I'm, I'm with you. I'm not necessarily... Okay. No, I haven't seen the... Uh, What's the one with Ashwarya and Rithik? Um, a Sanjay Leela Vansali movie with them? Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. I haven't seen that one either. But yeah, so I, he's he's not someone I run to see. I mean, it's kind of like, oh, he's doing a thing. But again, he's trying to do a thing. And there is yeah. something there is something to that. And I, out of, you know, spite to right-wingers, I kind of want to like him, but you know. <laughs> right, right. Um, what else was I thinking of? What other movies do you not like? Are there any like genres that you're just like, I don't want this at all? I mean, I don't know if this is a genre. Saccharine children. What children? Oh, like, <laughs> like cute kids. I don't need cute kids. Um, they really drag a production down a lot, right? Because kid actors are a thing and good ones are good, right? Like I'm thinking about um, yeah. Tari Zamin Par, that's the standout child in all of Hindi cinema in my, <laughs> to my, yeah. like off the top of my head. But yeah, I feel like I have, I, I don't want to like pat myself on the back too hard, but I feel like I'll try most any genre mm. within Hindi cinema, certainly, because I want to learn and I want to expand and everything, but there, there are probably things I don't gravitate. Oh, well, I'm like, okay. I is an old <laughs> um, and movies about early 20 somethings who are trying to figure their stuff out. You're like, oh God, oh yeah, so, so boring. But again, I understand why people want to make those. I understand people that age need films about themselves. It's just not for me. I don't want to wipe them from the face of the earth. I just don't want to be anywhere near them. And I think the older you get, the harder it can be to sort of tolerate that. And like, I work at a yeah. university, I'm around 20 somethings all the time. And none of them are as stupid as people in movies ever, ever. Right. And college students do really dumb things. Let's be clear. But like they, you know, as a group, they're nothing, they're nothing like how they get depicted, unfortunately, most of the time. So, uh, yeah. And that's, so that goes beyond run beer for man child and stuff. Cause then you get stupid women too. And you're just like, Oh my God, you don't have yeah. to have it figured out at 23, actually. Let's, I mean, that's a thing to talk about, but like this, oh God, just the cutesy poo and everything. Like, oh, I hate it. How about you? What are some genres that you hate? I mean, I feel like that, by the way, about anything that has to do with high schoolers. So, <laughs> for example, 
I mean, like, I don't think there's a lot of Bollywood movies. In fact, I can't think of one off the top of my head yeah, that has many. to be with one. Maybe was was Jane Tuya Jane na high schoolers? No, that I, was I was thinking Tuya, about that right? one actually because that is one it? is so twee and annoying. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't hate it. I think it's cute. Um, it's not something I would watch again and again. But like, for example, there's I feel like Hollywood does a lot of high schoolery stuff, um, shows as well, like TV shows and stuff. And I oh, find yeah. all of them so annoying because I'm like, it's high schoolers. I couldn't care less about them. The only thing I've ever liked is probably Clueless, which is still one of my favorite favorite movies ever Classic. because hello it's Alicia Silverstone and Paul Rudd but otherwise if you tell me something has high schoolers you've lost me I, I won't even try um I'm interested in fact like Archie's is gonna come out right that's the yeah uh, it has Suhana and August and I again I'm like that age bracket am I gonna watch it am I gonna like it I don't even know I'm skeptical but I will watch it yeah I'm quite skeptical and I will watch it depending on the reviews it gets from people I trust. Sure. Like if like, you're like, you should watch it. It's good. I'll be like, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot. But otherwise, yeah. no. Um, I actually made like a list of the things I, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like any movie in which the actor is very, very hyper and over the top and shrieky and annoying, which is why the only Ranveer Singh movie I like basically is Lutera. Also, I do like him in Gully Boy. Every time he does that like annoying thing where he's high pitched and just like cannot stop moving. And I'm like, can you, can you stop? Like, I thought he was so attractive, so hot, so good looking, so everything in Lutera, like so... Mm -hmm. Awesome. And also very good in Gully Boy. And then everything else he does, like Van Baja Bharat and everything, which seems very true to his persona in real life as well. It's just so irritating. Like, I want to love Ranveer Singh, but I just can't. Because a man won't shut up. But yeah. He is a lot. <laughs> he's a lot. Um, but I would, I want to see him in something where he's a little bit more subdued because he did Lutera so well. Like, he's a really fine actor. I he's agree. very talented. Yeah. Um, but I just want to see him go away from that. I feel the same way a little bit about Varun Dhawan. I find Varun Dhawan a lot more endearing than Ranveer Singh. And he's very, I like him. I have a soft spot for him. I do but too. But I want to see him also move away from these idiotic movies he does like Judva and whatever, Kuli number all the day. With oh, back. that was so bad. Oh. I didn't see it. I didn't see I it because it. I value my sanity. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you have a headache after? Yeah. And it was a lot of just like, what am I watching? Why does this exist in 20, 2020? Was that when that came out? 2021, whatever. Just like, why, 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 why? Which is especially tragic because the man can act. Mm -hmm. He knows how to act. He mm -hmm. has a good screen presence. He's shown his acting prowess in movies like October. And it's like, why are you regressing when you should be trying to do better and do more? Um, I, in fact, I'm cautiously optimistic about Bhedia, which is coming end of November. And it's like a horror comedy. Mm -hmm. And based on the poster, it looks like Varandhavan plays a werewolf maybe, which I'm all for. Yeah. If it's a werewolf movie, I will watch it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anytime these men are acting, there's a, there's a Hindi word that I think is so perfect, so perfect to describe Ranveer Singh's on-screen and off-screen per persona. And that word is chichora. Um, I don't know how to describe it exactly in English, but chichora is just like kind of trashy and silly. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll have to look up the dictionary, but it's this chichora stuff that he does that is, is very grating. I think. Yeah, because those um, are two things that are not great. And then you combine them in a certain way. And yeah, I can see how that, I'm glad there's a word for it. That's great. <laughs> there is. Like every time yeah. I've said, I've used the word Chichora to describe Ranveer Singh, everyone around me that's Indian goes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly he's landing. Are there, um, so it sounds like you're pretty okay with almost every genre. Is there any yeah. actor that gives you the ick or that annoys you? Like, so I'm going to name two and I feel one of them, I know I've spoken about on the podcast before, but, uh, in the second, I forget if I have. So the first is Katrina cave. I just think she's, I just think she's bad. I understand she has gotten better 
she is still bad is my opinion. And I watched the trailer for phone booth and I, mm, nope, no, <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't get it. I find her blank. I find her and that, and because she's well, not so much anymore, but when she was in so many things, I really resented that because I'm like, there are literally thousands of people who could do this better than you hanging out in this very city, trying to get the opportunity that you somehow got. And I don't, and I don't blame her for her opportunities, right? Like if people yeah. want to cast her girl, make your money, that's fine. Yeah. But I do resent being asked to pay money to watch them. Um, just, just, I just think she's bad. Um, user as an item girl, if you want, I love a good item girl number. Got Yeah. That, that is great as an item girl. It's, it's fine. That is correct usage of her. No more. Um, and I should say that is none of that is to criticize the like what she has been through in the industry or right. like the tell all she's she's going to be able to write one day is unbelievable. Um, and in some ways, I admire her for sticking it out as long as she has. In other ways, I'm yeah. like, girl, you're bad at this. Just stop doing it. Stop. <laughs> um, OK, then the other person I really, really this is more of a. I don't understand the big deal than I actively dislike, but, but, you know, sometimes that's proportionate. Yeah. I don't get the big deal about Sanjeev Kumar. I do not get it. I find him actively bad in quite a few films. Now, as people know from his era, I tend to watch a lot of more masala y things like werewolf movies, all that kind of stuff. So maybe the issue is the kinds of movies I like, he is not good in. But I do right. not think he is good in Shole, for example, at least not right. notably good. I think, again, there are many, many people who could have done what he did in that film. Um, so, and people just love him. And I do I, 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 I mean, I, it might be generational. And again, I hang out, I hang yeah. out in the seventies a lot, but people are just like the actor. And there's like, a thread, <laughs> I have an email thread with various people whom I will not out who, whenever we see a tweet of people praising the great actor, we're like, hee hee, look at this. <laughs> but I find him often very hammy and and uh, and not in a fun way, like bad, bad hammy. Um, right. So those, those are two for me. How about you? Oh, I actively, actively hate Salman Khan because he's a trash human being and you should hate him because he's just a trash human being. He's a dumpster fire. Um, as an actor, he's okay. I mean... He's no great shakes. I don't think anyone is a fan of Salman Khan for his acting. Right. Um, he's not even that good looking. He looks beefed up and weird. Um, I just don't get it, man. Like, why is this man a superstar? I kind of understand when, like, you know, when he was like at his peak and he was doing movies like Hamab Ke Khan and, um, you know, all those like romantic movies that he did, like Sajan and everything. And he was kind of cute. I'll give him that. But the superstardom that he has achieved is truly beyond me. Like, I just don't get it. Um, but he's also is a real thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. But yeah, he's just, he's just awful. Um, I also have very mixed feelings about Amir Khan because people go on and on and on about how Amir Khan is like so talented. And here's the thing, he is wildly inconsistent. Mm. I will admit that there are some Amir Khan movies where I've seen where I've been like, oh my God, you are chef's guest in this movie. Mm -hmm. Like there are those movies, but then there's also movies of his where I was like, what were you on? <laughs> what were you doing? Can you think Why? of one of those off the top of your head? Fana. <laughs> It was terrible. I, to this day, my husband will sing that song, Chan Sefarish Chokaritatum. And then he starts doing this. And then I'm like, stop it, stop it, because he knows it makes me angry. And he'll just be like, like that. <laughs> but there's so many. And then I haven't seen Lal Singh Chadda because here's the thing this is our podcast, and we can do whatever the heck we want. We don't have to watch this movie if we don't want to. But the promos that I saw, I was just horrified. And it's not even like Forrest Gump is one of my favorite movies of all time or whatever. Like, it's fine. I've seen it. It's okay. But what little I saw of Amir Khan's performance in that film, I was just like, this looks bad, 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 bad. And I ain't touching with, with a barge ball. So I don't understand why he's held up as this, like, the actor, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, it is interesting it. that, like, people's reputations get in maybe not, they don't maybe get in their way, but they get in our way, um, which yeah. is not the person's fault particularly, but um, it, it is interesting, right? That the, the persona around someone can be, or their fans 
You're like, I want to hate this just because other people like it. And I'll, I'll give a flip example because the whole internet that I am on was so outraged about the new persuasion adaptation. I okay. was like, you know what? I'm going to watch this and I think I'm going to like it. And I did like it. So, <gasps> okay. you know, did I like it out of spite? I, not, not exactly, Maybe. but there, there's a fact, there's a power there because it is, you know, when people get all agitated about some things, it, there's something in us that sometimes that wants to be contrary. So that's how I felt about um, the Ghostbusters movie that they were making. I like the original Ghostbusters, but it's not like, it's like one of my favorite movies of all time. It's cute. I like it. It's got Bill Murray. What's not like, right. but the, the fact that everybody and especially all these man children were making such a, how dare you cast women in it and you're destroying it for mankind. I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch it and I'm going to see it in the theater gonna and I'm going to see it fabulous and I'm going to give them all my money and I'm, I'm going to hope they make a sequel. It was just sheer spite. That's all it was. <laughs> Yeah. Because just the amount of misogyny, I was like, because it wasn't like, it wasn't the thing that I do where I'm like, do not make remakes where I'm just like anti-remake. It wasn't an anti-remake thing. It was just because how dare you take a movie with four men in it and make it with four women. And I was like, you know what? Screw you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That was an unbelievable reaction people had to that. It's just, just trash men being trash yeah um how do you feel about anushka sharma oh i i like her generally speaking i'm sure there's a film or two where i have not well and again like um job having that say job yeah, job that i don't yeah i don't think either of those is her fault exactly but i do not think she's like the saving grace or anything but yeah i i generally like her i don't have an issue there you do it i think like. the weird I just, I find her very grating mm -hmm. and annoying. Um, but like, I don't like actively hate her or anything. I just find her grating. I just don't understand how she's kind of like risen to the top and is at the position where she's at. But then again, Katrina Kef is one of the biggest stars. So what do I know? Um, it was funny because um, my husband and I were discussing Pony and Selvan yesterday. And as I want to do, I immediately wanted to recast it because it's just yes. something I do. <laughs> and I was saying to him, if, Let's say, theoretically, if someone made this into a Hindi movie, God forbid, but if they did, whom would you cast as one? And I said I would cast Madhuri Dixit in Ashwara's role as um, Nandini. And then we were just like racking our brains trying to think of who could play Aditya Karikalan, who could play, um, you know, Wandering Man and all of these, who could play Kundavai. And I couldn't think of anyone. Mm. I literally could not think of a young-ish actress who could have pulled off what Trisha Krishnan did. And I think that's such a sorry and sad state of affairs mm. that Bollywood just does not have very many talented people right now. I it mean, just doesn't. I, I don't want this to happen. So maybe I shouldn't say it out loud, but it, you know, it is really too, too bad about Kangana because I think she could actually do a role like that, right? I don't want her in any movie. She's a bad human, but, yeah. but I do think she is a, a very fine actor when she puts her mind to it. That's true. Yeah, but she could don't cast know, young, her. <laughs> young Rani could have done it. Tot oh, totally. But young Rani. But like yeah. no one right now, who are you going to cast? Janvi Kapoor? I don't want to see Janvi Kapoor in anything. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of like a sad state of affairs right now. So my alternate casting plan failed spectacularly. I mean, uh, my just, like, stop. Huh? I was just saying, I, you know, hopefully it feels unremakeable. Like the fact that it was barely makeable in the first place, barely filmable, um, should tell other people to please do not bother. <laughs> just like dub it yeah. and that let it let it be. Let the Tamilians make this Tamil story and like leave yes. it alone. <laughs> They've clearly done a spectacular job. Right. Um, apparently, the second movie is already done. So I kind of hope that Mani Ratnam releases it soonish because I want to see it. I want to see what happens at the end. I know. Very intriguing. Okay. So um, do you want to tell them what our next episode is going to be? I feel like we don't know that yet. I think we don't know our next episode, but okay. we are thinking about... We are thinking about a companion to this one, which is things we love that other people hate. We are thinking about something scary for Halloween-ish time. 
there are always more in the hopper for our classic superstars series. Yes. And uh, those are some of the things we've been brainstorming. And obviously any new releases that come our way that we actually both get to see in a timely right. manner, which is always, for those who don't know, I live in not a big city. I get some Indian movies, but not, or some Hindi movies, but not all of them. So we do our best, but you know, you can't see a movie that doesn't play. Like I was hoping that we were going to get Mala Jat because we got the trailer mm -hmm. for it, but it seems that we are not getting it. So that's kind of disappointing, okay. even though it does look really violent and that's not really my thing. I was intrigued enough to want to see it. So, yeah. Um, okay. Well, I think that's that for this episode. Hopefully people don't hate us. Um, and when we do the companion piece where we talk about the movies we like, hopefully people aren't shocked by all the terrible movies I like because they already know I have poor taste if they've ever heard me on Kandan. Um, <laughs> it's like people just associate me with like the worst movies ever, which, you know, not I wrong. I think that is what makes you beloved or one of the things that makes you <laughs> beloved, frankly. Like everyone's delighted when you go on their show and are, are <laughs> talking about these 90s things They're that like, have forgotten. They of love course you. she likes this movie. Of course she does. We I just mean, know. Surely, just surely you and I bonded initially in part over shared bad taste over something or other, right? Because that's what the blog world was about back in the day, right? Like, and obviously it carries on on Twitter too, but you know. I think what we bonded over, I remember having a very animated conversation with you when we had just um, gotten to know of each other over Kun Mag. It was the snapping <sighs> crocodiles that did it. <laughs> uh, I remember, so I believe that I bought my DVD of that movie in in Britain in in London in South Hall I was in a DVD okay. shop and you know just if you remember DVD shops those big bins and you would just because nothing was organized Rummage. particularly and I found it like I held it up over my head like I found it <laughs> and fortunately they are the region free DVD so you could buy it in Britain and watch it in America no problem and oh my god was that exciting the triumph so the triumph so here's the funny thing. I think at this point, everyone in my life knows that I just have trash taste. Um, and so my mother-in-law is so sweet one time because she knows I like movies like um, Kudberi Mang. Then I like all dinosaur movies. I will watch every single dinosaur uh, movie. That comes I love shark movies. I will watch Sharknado. Like I watch anything that has monsters in it and also anything that has like wild animals going berserk. Yeah. So for one of my birthdays, she gave me a DVD and she was very like shy about it. And she just handed it to me she said um my husband likes so my father-in-law um your father-in-law didn't think that I should buy this for you but I saw it and it made me think of you and I was like oh like why is she being so like demure and whatnot because she's not a demure woman and I was like mm, okay and then I opened it you know what it was it was the movie Anaconda <laughs> she gave me a DVD of Anaconda <laughs> And she was like, I just felt like you would like this. And I was like, oh, you know me so well. <laughs> so, yes. That is, see, and that's when, you know what, when other people, when 99 out of 100 say avoid yar and you say, give it to me, please. Mine, 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 mine. Like, that's how you find your kindred spirits. It's important. Exactly. People who are equally weird and like. Cuckoo. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, that's been that for this episode. Please like and share and subscribe. Uh, please write in your comments. Um, if you think that me and Beth are completely ridiculous because we were hating on a movie that you like, please defend it to us. Um, let's have like a Godzilla versus Kong and death tell match. Us, like, what are things that you hate that everybody else likes? Because we might, we might be like, oh God, how did we forget that? So tell us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> People are just going to be like in all caps. You are wrong. <laughs> we're wrong. Someone was wrong on the internet. I can't go to bed now. I've got to fix it. <laughs> And thank you for watching Filmy Ladies. Bye. Bye.